What up guys, J-Pops in the house. Today, we are going to be taking a look at Anakin Skywalker and Yoda from Hasbro's Star Wars The Clone Wars. Alright, so I'm actually just going to switch the camera so that way I can give you guys a better close-up of these figures. Alright guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at 2009's Anakin Skywalker and Master Yoda from The Clone Wars, the animated Clone Wars. That is thunder in the back, if you guys just heard that. Alright, so we're gonna start with Anakin Skywalker. I'm just gonna put Master Yoda to the side, right over there. This is the packaging, if you guys haven't seen it. Again, it is an older figure, so if you guys haven't seen any of the figures that's part of this wave, it's basically all of them, yeah. Alright, so Anakin does come with accessories. He has the firing force blast weapon which is kind of like a cannon now i don't remember the episode or even if it was part of the clone wars the movie the animated one where he uses this i remember him using a cannon i just don't remember like the force cannon and he's a jedi so he really wouldn't need to use this unless like the cannon would be activated by the force so and it does not work the best but at the end of the video or during the review i'll probably show you guys that and how that works i wasn't even recording <laughs> All right, honestly, you have to like hold down the cannon so that way it doesn't just like fall off the arm. What? He's it's terrible. It's terrible, guys. And he has grappling hooks. I most likely would not be using this, but the best thing is the lightsaber, of course. Getting into the figure, let me see if I can just move this camera back some. He does have a ball jointed neck, so it does turn 360. He does have ball hinged elbows and shoulders, so the shoulders will move upwards like so and then you can also 360 his arm boom like that his elbows do move upwards backwards and he's got like swivel wrist too which is actually pretty cool when you pose him with the lightsaber because it reminds me of like the actual show where he would like move the lightsaber around but pretty cool he has a swivel waist and i believe legs as well but that is it the downside to this is that the knees don't bend which it's a downside because then you can't pose him the way you would like to the anakin skywalker i believe that has the darth mole on the packaging i think it's like the 2012 one and i believe that's the one that the knees bend because even the one that's after this 2011 it does not the knees just don't bend i'm not sure why they did that but it's still a really cool looking figure and definitely looks nice next to uh, Yoda and all the other... Well, I don't have the other ones, but it looks nice in the Star Wars little collection. Alright, stay there, Anakin. Boom! Yoda! This one is actually really nice. Anakin's nice as well, but I like Yoda way more because it looks just like the little animated Yoda. Master Yoda, should I say. Alright, so Yoda also has the Firing Force Blast, only he does not have a weapon to use it of course like you don't need that so you just put the force and put the force that is this will be like the force blast right i'll show you guys you know what i'll show you guys what it looks like uh yoda firing the force boom darth maul short darth maul today and i believe you just flip upwards where you at bro Boom. Oh, he missed, but you guys just get the point. But the Force Blast actually looks pretty cool with Master Yoda because it's like, whoa. It's like, you know, his the hands, yeah, instead of just a weapon. But he does have his green lightsaber, and his lightsaber actually stays in his hand. I don't know if I said that about Anakin, but Anakin's lightsaber, the hands are kind of like poorly constructed, so you kind of have to like mess around with it for the lightsaber to actually fit in the hand. But Master Yoda's is perfect. So he does have a swivel neck. I believe it should be ball jointed, right? Uh, turns 360. <gasps> All right, he's back together. He does have ball hinge shoulders as well as like swivel elbows here. You can move his elbow like this, like so. This is actually pretty cool, just like Anakin, so that we can kind of like pose the lightsaber a certain way. And his wrist, I believe, are swivel as well on both of the arms, even this one as well. I forgot to mention that he actually, which just reminded me, he actually has a walking stick which can actually fit right where the force would be and if you didn't want him to have the lightsaber you could just take the lightsaber out like so and he'd just be walking. 
Master Yoda. This actually looks pretty cool like that as well. Or you could put the walking stick in this hand, and then you can have him fire in the force with the other one. Like if he was just walking, had to use the force, yeah. His waist does swivel, and his legs, or like feet, ankles. It's actually pretty cool that you could actually move his feet, like so. Anakin doesn't have any of that. If you guys are looking to see how tall they are, boom, that's a pop. So, they're not that tall. And I do need another R2, because I thought this R2 would go with it. It does not. I need the R2 that actually goes with this wave, um, because this R2 is just too... He's too tall, even though he does look nice, like, in pictures, and he's, like, set far back, stuff like that. But I will show you guys some pictures. This is pretty much going to do it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the 2009 Clone Wars figures. All right, guys, I'm signing off. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.